on Fox's Hell's Kitchen, Chef Robin Almodovar is relentless to win. Listen, all the Cobb salads need to go out before we can even start the entree. Let's go. Thank you, Robin. Someone needed to step up. This is my chance to prove myself. She's bringing the heat in her own way, but back at home in South Florida, things are just as hot. I need a patty and meatball. I don't know if you guys have I got a patty and meatball right now. Okay. So two fritters, please, and two risotto. There's no downtime on board of Chef Robin's very own pallet party food truck. The orders are up, the people are hungry, and the soft shell crabs need to be out. First we do our egg batter. After you do our egg batter, we do our cornmeal. Okay, you shake it in there. Make sure the crab gets a nice generous amount. <laughs> yummy, yummy. We drop it. It's gonna take around four minutes in the fryer. While we put it in the fryer, we're gonna sit here and cut our nice crusty baguette. If you're gonna have a nice soft shell crab, you gotta have a nice toasted bun. It's a must. Put some nice little oil on it, stick it on our flat top, you get nice golden brown. So now our soft shell crab is finished. We're gonna take it out. It's nice and yummy. We're gonna, my secret, secret, secret. Our bread is nice and toasty. Now look at that. That is beautiful. Homemade roasted garlic aioli. You put it on the bottom. To go with our homemade tomato jam. A tomato jam is made with you taking fresh tomatoes, you dice them up. I take a little bit of sliced onions, I put it in there as well. I put vinegar, sugar, and a little bit of water. It's like I get streaks. It's my homemade ketchup. Is our soft shell. At a special viewing party for Hell's Kitchen, family and friends were on hand to lend their support. Well, Robin's always wanted to open up a restaurant, you know, when she, after she started uh, finished culinary school. Absolutely. Robin is very energetic. Sorry. Sorry, Mom. And right before she went to Hell's Kitchen, she started looking up her food trucks. And she said to, you know, she was talking to her father and I about it, and we said, go for it. This is Brenda Robbins from DeVito's, the only two females in the kitchen, so we did the damn thing, you know. Am I a fan of Hell's Kitchen? Yes. Robbins giving me more confidence. I'm definitely going to put in my application there. I would love to be there and call him a donkey. Despite her antics, Chef Robin proves it's not off her show. Her food is the real deal. I'm having the guinea fries, and I finished off some meatball sliders. They're amazing. There's, you know, there's spice to it. There's a bite to it. These are great. I can't stop eating them. It's, you know, every addict's dream. What did you eat? Meatballs. The meatballs? What did you yeah. think of them? Outrageous. Yeah? Blank outrageous. Are you, uh, are you, are you a cook yourself? Strictly Italian cook. Oh, okay. So you make your own meatballs? Mm -hmm. And what's your trick to meatballs? I ain't telling you, honey. Let okay. me don't put the tricks out in the street. Okay. <laughs> I am eating the fried mushroom risotto balls. What do you think of them? They're the best thing I've ever had. Delicious. Have you eaten from here before? No, I'm visiting from Maryland. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. So you, you don't get a lot of food trucks in Maryland? No, we don't. I was just saying that we don't get this like this in Maryland. So it's really nice. With 8 p.m. approaching and a crowd forming outside, Chef Robin is eager for the show to start. This is the first time I'm watching it with the viewers at home as well. So we all know about editing. This right here, this is freaking reality, people. 